All right, hello Leo, welcome back to my channel. This is your next 48. This is episode 26 and 27 for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right, let's see what the messages are, the important ones. For you, Leo. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right, let's see. Oh, we have the magician. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so you could be dealing with a baby boss, but we have magic. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting, um, you're working your magic here. All right. I'm getting somebody as an undercover magician. I'm also getting two, somebody has the ability to shape shift. I'm getting Leo, you can play both roles. I'm getting, you can be feminine, you can be masculine, you can be a combination of both. But I, I just feel like you know what you're doing or you know what to do in this situation. All right, yeah, we have the sun card and then we have the fool. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting an autodidact. I'm getting an autodidact, someone who is self-taught. I'm getting a self-taught a self-taught magician here. I'm also getting two self-initiation. I'm also getting to something about um, I'm getting I'm hearing immaculate con con immaculate conception. Something is in your DNA, or there's something about your sun sign that is very significant that you need to pay attention to. You need to pay attention to your sun sign, what house it's in, and what degree it's in. I feel like it's very significant. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups, we have the Chariot, and we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so something, if it feels like you lost your magical powers is what I'm getting, or you, you can't remember how to do them, or you lost someone. Yeah, because it, it's almost like you're, you, you, you forgot how to do a certain type of magic, or you're having a hard time tapping into your gifts is what I'm getting. Yeah, we have the nine of wands. So I'm getting it's causing you to feel a little bit insecure or irritated. I'm also getting two. You met someone, you met someone very significant while you were driving or in an Uber or a Lyft. too if you're feeling remorseful i'm getting it's not going to last long i'm getting like five five days maybe less like four days because i'm kind of getting you're feeling a little bit you're feeling a little bit depressed but i'm getting it's it's temporary this could be due to your menstrual cycle is what i'm hearing i'm also getting like your, your powers are affected by menses, by the menstrual cycle, or your powers are affected by blood or something like that. Or something is in your blood. All right, let's see. Jeez. Okay, we have the three of swords, yeah. I'm getting I'm getting you feel bad about some type of magic that you're doing or that you did. What's what's the sun card? Because that's you. We have the we have the high priestess and we have the moon. Yeah, I'm getting first of all, I'm getting a moon magic. I'm getting a moon goddess. I'm getting I'm getting you're gonna have to make a tough decision here. I'm getting doing something in your best interest, maybe maybe betraying somebody else, or you may feel like you are doing that. What's the five of cups? Yeah, we have the six of swords, but I'm getting you know it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to leave something or someone behind. It could be magic or witchcraft. Yeah, we have the two of cups and we have the ten of swords.
you you may feel like you have to leave magic behind in order to be in a healthy relationship. What is what is the what is this what is the five the magician and the three of swords? I'm getting two, somebody is doing some type of magic to keep you separate from someone because we have the moon and the sun the moon and the sun in the same reading that's feminine masculine energy divine feminine divine masculine I'm, I'm getting someone is trying to keep you away from your divine counterpart or somebody is doing something in the dark to obstruct the connection or cause some type of blockage or delay or some type of numbness Yeah, we have the judgment card. It's almost like you brought something back to life unintentionally. Or you feel you feel bad about a reoccurring thought a reoccurring thought that you're having about someone or reoccurring thoughts about your ex or about a betrayal or about an Aries. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. Yeah, something, something, I'm getting something that is buried deep into your DNA is coming to the surface. I'm getting it's a nasty thought or some type of betrayal, something that you did. I'm getting like seven years ago or when somebody, something, I'm getting seven years ago or when somebody was seven years old. I'm getting when a child was seven years old, you did something. Or something happened to you when you were seven years old it's coming back to the surface yeah I'm getting something about your childhood that you or a thought that you or something that you thought was gone out of your psyche is coming back up yeah we have the ace of cups Now I'm getting two things. I'm getting a situation. I'm getting a child when a child was seven years old, they witnessed something that they weren't supposed to see, maybe a sexual encounter, or they were touched. What is this? Yeah, we have the Eight of Swords. Yes, what I was getting. I'm getting a reoccurring thought. Something, I'm, some, I mean, something that you did, you can't stop thinking about because the Star and we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, something, because I, I'm getting like you can't stop thinking about how you betray someone, how you cheated on someone, or you can't stop thinking about a sexual encounter between you and another person. I'm also getting to something about a car crash or a car accident that maybe you had, I'm getting a hit and run that you had something to do with. What is this? Yeah, the two of wands and the justice. Yeah, somebody, I'm getting somebody is running from justice here or somebody's worried about some type of something coming out, um, some type of evidence or something something being proven right or someone, someone's worried about being proven guilty or something like that. But I'm getting you can't stop thinking about sex with a Libra or you can't stop thinking about betray the betraying a Libra. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. What is this? The Princess of Wands, the Prince of Wands, and the I'm I'm getting I'm getting something really um 
I'm getting something really sinister from your reading. I, I'm, I'm getting like two siblings were having sex. Like, like somebody was making you do this or... What, what is this combination? I'm getting, like, I'm getting like somebody likes kids or, or like somebody or somebody likes child porn or something. What is this combination? I'm getting something about a child or somebody's childhood. Yeah, the strength card, there you are in the eight of cups. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting to a child has been taken because of sexual abuse or a child was taken because of this, because of because of being sexually abused by a parent or, a, or by a family member. Yeah, something something is coming out in court. Or somebody is someone's going to find out the real reason why there was a there was a divorce or there was a breakup. Someone's going to find out the real reason why they were taken or why somebody broke up with them. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles, Will of Fortune. Yeah, something's going to come back around that's been hidden or that's been, um, like, archived. I'm getting something about a birth certificate or a birth chart. What's this? But I feel like somebody is attracted to someone in their family. Like somebody has wild thoughts about one of their children or about one of their siblings. We have the three of pentacles and we have the tower and we have the, the prince of swords. Yeah. I'm getting between the ages of three and seven is, is, is going to be significant. You're going to figure out why something occurred. I'm getting a tower moment occurred in your past. Like somebody went to jail, you were taken away, or there was a breakup, or there was a divorce. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles, queen of cups, and the princess of pentacles. I always get this weird energy in your reading about a child not being yours, Leo. So you could you could discover that who your real father is or who your real father isn't. King of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting like somebody is having like sexual fantasies about one of their children or about a child. Or a child is being touched here. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to leave it there. Um should be an interesting two days. All right, let's see. Let's pull an oracle card. Yeah, we have Olgum. We have Nature. 
Yeah, so you may you may figure out something about your DNA, something runs in your family. I'm also too, I'm getting something about incest. I don't know because the, the, the DNA card came up. So I'm getting something about incest or something about favoritism. Or like nepotism or something like that. Yeah, we have hydromancy. Yes, I'm. I'm getting like I'm getting like somebody is not really in the family, or that's not really your child, or something. Something has been something has been going on, and somebody is covering it up. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody has a very wicked nature in your family, or somebody has um, a very sexual nature, like someone's a sexual deviant or sexual sadist, and. I'm getting like people kind of just cover that up and you're okay. We have, yeah, we have spontaneity. Yeah, but something's gonna just come out. I'm getting like somebody is under somebody's under pressure, somebody has to say something. But I'm getting like there's been a lot of lying going on, or like there's been a lot of things being kind of swept under the rug or not being talked about. It's like this. It's like an elephant in the room or something like that. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.